During the last weekend of February 2019, a winter storm made its way across the Midwest. Many people asked, why didn't the governor issue an emergency proclamation for the storm when surrounding states did? In Iowa, the process is that each county has a local emergency manager. That local emergency manager responds to the disaster with their resources first. So local law enforcement, local public works, plow operators were out doing what they needed to do as they do on their everyday jobs. When they don't have enough or the right resources, then they can ask the state for help, at which time we would then go to the governor and ask her to declare that county a disaster area so that we can provide state resources to that jurisdiction at no cost. We had many questions during this winter storm, too, about why we did not activate the National Guard. Um, the National Guard is not a resource we can just quickly activate. We have to task them with a mission in support of a local request, and then the National Guard has to look at what troops are available, from what area, issue them warning orders, and get them to the location where they're needed, get them ready for the mission. So it's not a fast process. The National Guard is a great partner, and what they bring is a huge force multiplier with personnel. So they do great with traffic and access control, with sandbagging efforts, with many, many missions that we have utilized them for. But most commonly, they are not utilized during a winter storm. DOT and Department of Public Safety have the key missions during those events. They were out there making sure that citizens were safe. They were rescuing anyone who was stranded and working in support of those local partners. During this winter storm, we had, um, on Sunday, we had four conference calls with staff from the governor's office, with Department of Public Safety, Department of Transportation staff. So there was a coordinated effort to um, make sure that we were having a consistent message for the public, that we were making sure county emergency management coordinators were notified when the interstate was being closed, when the interstate was being opened. So there was constant communication among the key agencies involved in that response to make sure everyone was on the same page and to ensure the governor knew exactly what was going on as well. The governor, as I've found with traveling with her last summer during the flood events and the tornado that impacted Marshalltown and Pella. She is very caring, wants the citizens of Iowa to know that she is out there and she has their best interests at heart. What is the impact to the citizens of Iowa is always the governor's first question during a disaster event. So she's always engaged, always making sure that we're doing everything we can in support of the citizens of Iowa.